So um, my company is called uh, Bitwage. Um, the headline is Leading Crypto Payroll and Invoicing Benefits Provider for a uh, I'm going to present a domestic um, market pitch for um, U U.S. market. So the Bitwage company has been around since uh, 2014. There's uh, around maybe around 20,000 users and um, 50 million um, transactional volume. And it's been profitable for um, al almost a year, not, not quite. So the the particular new company that we're working on is a uh, is a benefits company. Benefits in the U.S. is has to do with the uh, well. There's a lot of benefits, but the one we're we're um, we're angling towards is the retirement benefits. So this is the individual retirement account for individuals or. Um, so, uh, crypto IRA. So the the the, the unique part about it, um, as compared to perhaps competitors, is that it the way it works is that there's a unique bank account per um, per user. And uh, this is a U.S. market, although it says U EU and U.K. So the unique bank account allows the user to be involved even if the payroll provider is not directly um, a partner. Although if the payroll provider wants to be a partner, um, then we have a plan sponsor a API. And there's other partners to 401k brokers, but that's a, a sort of a different market than the individual retirement account or called IRA. Uh, the opportunity, um, I, I'm guessing a, a lot of people have already been talking about cryptocurrency market so far. So people know about it. I've seen its growth over time. Here's some numbers about the, uh, the size of it in terms of um, the, uh, the breakup of the coins and the amount of users involved. Um, but with this particular product, it would be a subset of those users. So the way we were calculating how which, uh, which percentage of the users would be interested uh, comparing it to non-crypto uh, individual retirement accounts um, or the plan sponsor ones, which was when the, uh, the partner is involved, payer provider or a 401k broker. So here's some numbers for that. Timeline. Um, our company right now is working on into uh, alternative. Uh, we've only done uh, Bitcoin so far, but we're looking into launching Ethereum next. And uh, the IRA product would then come after that, and after some market um, validation. Perhaps a uh, plan sponsor partner would be interested in working with us. And um, there's also interest in the, um, um, the non-security digital assets, because you can divide the digital assets into security and the uh, security, according to the US government, or the, um, I think the uh, SEC is the one who rules on the security aspect. And then um, there's some other ambitions after that, which would involve maybe getting into the security side. 
Here's the current investors. And I think that's it. Yeah. Um, I can uh, talk more, but it might be nice to know what you're interested in hearing about. If there, uh, if I'm not sure what the time is, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has any questions or, uh, yeah. I guess the interest here is um, we're looking at doing a ICO for the Bitwage company at some point in the future. But before we do that one, we were going to do a smaller ICO on, a, on our other company called InWage. Um, and InWage is primarily an ICO as a service company, so it helps other people raise ACOs. So, um, but the Bitwage would have an initial um, private round before the public one. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, there was a there was a Bloomberg, a Bloomberg article recently that I, I was interviewed for. Basically, the employer acti um, participation has been always rather small. Um, it's mainly been a worker-driven product. Yeah, but it's uh, that, that article is with the Bloomberg BNA. But I, I can tell you, tell you more about that if you, if you want to learn about it.